Nepal can get financial benefit by the industrialization of Ayurved medicine. I believe this conference will be the milestone for the development of tools for scientific collection, conservation, processing and industrialization of medicinal plants and Ayurved medicine. Government of Nepal is willing to support Ayurveda industries. I would like to propose 300 year old Singadarbar Baitya Khana as a project for the national prize as it is one of the oldest pharmaceuticals in Nepal since the time of Mangla dynasty. Alongside, government will support for the research of indigenous medicinal plants and to develop Ayurveda pharmacopoeia and formulary of Nepal. Government will work to make policy of Ayurveda medicine production center and collection and processing on unit for medicinal plant in each province. <laughs> Government will support Nepalese Ayurved companies to promote quality of Ayurved medicine as per GMP standard. Government will try to resolve the legal restriction for the trading of medicinal plants essential for the production of Ayurved medicine. <laughs> Government will promote the Ayurved hospital Panchakarma Center and Wellness Center for the promotion of health tourism in Nepal. As per government policy, 100 bedded Ayurveda hospital will be started soon in all provinces. Government of India. <laughs> government of India and Ministry of Ayush has given high priority for the research and development of Ayurveda and herbal industry in India. Government of Nepal will work together with Government of India to promote Ayurveda as evidence-based medicine in Nepal. I would like to request all Ayurveda doctors to publish research articles in international journals. Government of Nepal will work with WHO to support for further research activities in Ayurveda and medicinal plants in collaboration with WHO. Global Center for Traditional Medicine, Jan Nagar, India. I also believe that this international conference will help to find out some solution for the climate change threat and global warming. This year, Prime Minister Modi has taken another initiative, and this year, because Ayurveda goes with a balanced diet, Prime Minister Modi has taken the initiative to declare this year as International Year of Millets, and the UN has supported it. We are planning to do several activities along with Ayurveda to promote the usage of millets in our daily lives. As I said earlier, India and Nepal have been cooperating in the field of traditional medicines and I'm rather encouraged by Prime Minister Prachanji's strong support for carrying this work forward. We already have a framework established through a legal exchange of MOUs and several of our companies, some of which are represented here, Patanjali Ayurved, Dabur, etc. are already working in Nepal to see how Ayurveda and medicinal plants can be uh, more easily processed and made available to people, not just in our two countries, but around the world. The presence of Prime Minister Prachanji earlier today is an indication how both our countries are working together in this area.